Okay, guys, so what I have right here is a Toro uh, zero turn riding lawnmower. This is the cover that goes on to the, the engine. And what I had happened to me is the oil is doing the maintenance on this and the oil tube that holds the the um, drain has broken off right here has broken off flush there and uh, i'm talking to toro they said that this was a common problem and they wanted me to bring my entire lawnmower into the place to try to do a warranty claim but if it uh, was past that they would not cover it so i'm going to show you today how to fix this once and for all and uh, never happen again for a fraction of what this piece would cost so to do this what we've got here is some uh, red loctite uh, a number q drill bit if you don't have that a 21 64 will work uh, for this we're not doing anything like major here so some quick steel um, this is an eighth inch npt tap uh, and a holder for it and this is an eighth inch um, npt by a three eighths inch hose barb and a uh, small hose clamp that will fit uh, the the tube for the oil all right so what we're going to do first i'm going to mix up some of this just grab a bench bunch and mix it up and we're going to fill all of these cavities that are in here until it's flush so that's what we're going to do i'll be right back Okay, so this is what we're looking for. You really need to push it in there because we're going to fill in all of those voids in there. And uh, when we drill this, it's almost the exact size of that uh, that tube. So this will give it something to um, make our, our threads when we tap it. All right, I'm going to let this harden up and uh, we'll come back and do the next step. All right, it's been an hour what my epoxy putty had said for full cure. So you can see this is all filled in now. We're gonna drill this. I'm gonna take it over to my drill press. You can do this with a hand drill if you want. Just try to go straight as you can. All right, we'll be back. Okay, we've drilled our hole. You don't have to go all the way through. Just enough for the threads on the barbed fitting. So let's get this tapped now. Okay, we're done with our tapping now. So let's get the uh, let's get the barb fitting put in with the uh, Loctite. Okay, our barb fitting is now in, and uh, for extra measure, we can take some more of our epoxy putty and put it up over here. I think I'm going to do that. So we're going to put a little bit more in over here and uh, just make sure that this never comes out. And um, then we'll put it back on the mower and uh, hook up the, the tube. All right, so I put uh, some more epoxy putty on there to go just over to the, the lip there. This should never, never come out. But uh, yeah, we'll let this dry and then we'll put it back on the lawnmower. We'll finish it up. One note I do want to say, if you do drill all the way through on accident, um, you're going to want to plug this up. So some epoxy putty on top here will keep that uh, sealed up so nothing can drop in. So, All right, so it's all done there, hardened up. Let's go get this thing buttoned up onto the lawnmower. All right, so this is going to be a little bit longer, so we're going to trim this this tube here so that it can fit up inside this barbed fitting here. So we'll do that. We'll put our hose clamp on, and we'll we'll tighten it up. All right, guys, that's a completed fix. Should never have a problem again. Hope this helps somebody.